Hi guys, I'm Lens Craig, an Educational Outreach Coordinator for SparkFun Electronics. And I'm here with Jeff Booty. He's an Android uh, developer on the graphics card for Nexus 7, I believe? Nexus 4. Nexus 4, I apologize. What I did was I created an Android application which connects to a Simon device over Bluetooth which allows you to control the Android application uh, using just the Simon device. And the way I did it was there's a Bluetooth connection. When you press a button on the Simon device, it starts playing the game. The game state is passed directly from the Simon device to the Android device, and there's no actual logic computation happening on the Android device. So this is just a very simple OpenGL application which draws just four rectangles. And the color is based on the color of the LEDs, and then the brightness of the rectangle is based on which LEDs are lit up. And as you can see, there's also a status message at the bottom, and that's also coming from the Arduino device. You just use commands like the serial.println command to send commands to the Android device. What this is doing is we're now playing the game on the Simon device, but instead of connecting to an Android app, we're connecting to a Telnet device, which is listening to the serial port. And so what you're seeing output here on the screen is the state changes that are coming from the Simon device that are interpreted by the Android app to display the colors and the status messages. We're excited about this because this has great implications for, for teaching embedded technology and microcontroller technology in conjunction with tablets and phones, which is where we eventually see the classrooms as a whole headed.